Ah, welcome to the Lord of the Rings, part two, the two towers. So let's get this started with right now. Uh, let's just turn out this power. Okay, there we go. And this is a summary for people who do who don't have much time, and they're all like, "Hey, I'm not gonna waste my time reading that darn book." Anyways, that happened, and the thing is. Uh, Alright, let's start off with today's Two Towers. Now, The Two Towers itself is actually a pretty interesting book. It's a sequel to The Fellowship of the Ring, and it's basically where everything starts going down. Now they're going to arrive, like Sam and Frodo, they've been disbanded from The Fellowship, and they're all like, Hey, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead. Frodo's nice on his good on his own, so you know what? Let's just go ahead and leave that poor kid there. Why? Well... He's not a kid anymore. He's a hobbit. He's an adult hobbit. Fair point. Anyways, that happened. And he decided that, hey, you yeah, know what? Let's just go ahead and do all this. Meanwhile, Frodo and... Frodo and, apparently, Sam went ahead and they're all like, Yay! Yeah! Where are you at, Mr. Mr. Baggins? I cannot leave you after all you've done for me. Then don't leave me. Come with me. That's what they do. And then there's this guy named Gollum who comes here. And he's like, Precious! Precious! My precious! That happened. And then everything that happened in The Hobbit actually starts coming into this thing. Apparently, um, apparently Bilbo Baggins does the most stupidest thing and tells f the guy, the guy, Gollum, who was the previous owner of the rings, of uh, what his name is. And that is literally darn bad because now that Gollum is now on the hunt for him because now that he knows his name, like, it's easy to just find out who he is. Anyways, that happened. And what happens next is Nervika turn! At least that's what Gotland would say. The next, what happened next is that, was that literally the most darndest, stupidest things ever happened. Frodo Baggins now just goes ahead and he decides that, hey, you know what? Let's just go ahead. And then the other two, other two uh, hobbits that were lost, Keely, no, not Keely, I think his name, their names were Pip and Pip and Mary! Yay! Anyways, that so happened. And what happens next is that they just caught themselves into a bunch of tree bear people. So they're all like giant tree giants, and they go ahead and they're like, Yay! You know what? Let's just go ahead and do whatever we want to do. Let me go lay! Anyways, that all happened. And they decided that, hey, you know what? Let's just discuss what's happening. And then they just go ahead and treat Pip, Pip and kill and Pip and, Pip and uh, Mary, like, on it, their own. It's pretty good. The rest of them, Gillen and Legolas, they're all like, you know what, let's just play Bill! And they go ahead and they start fighting a bunch of orcs, and then the orcs start blowing things up. And finally, they actually find Frodo. Frodo almost drowns in a river, finds a lot of ghosts, and then a go the golem, who actually follows them and is finally bound to an ankle, actually saves Frodo. And he's like, good golem, good golem. That happens, and then the ring itself decides that, hey, you know what, Gollum, I don't, uh, yeah, yeah, I know, you, I know you're saying I'm your precious, but I want to go to my master, you got it? I have a part of his soul in here, I'm his whole clock. Well, Gollum can't hear it at all, and he's always like, yeah, my precious, my precious, my precious, my precious. Anyways, the Gollum side, his eyes, he's all like, and then he goes ahead and has an internal debate with himself where there's his Gollum side and the Smeagol side, where it's like the good side and the bad side. However, Gollum always wins because he's always more determined. And Smeagol is just t -t too kind. Yeah. So, what next? So, what happens next? Well, a bunch of things actually happen next. Uh, Lord of the, okay, so this guy, Lord of Backhands, becomes the, the Lord of the Power Ring, and he can't lose the ring itself, and if he does, it, everything is locked. Anyways, Gollum leads them to Mordor, and he decides, like, you know what, I want to go for redemption, and then Samwix is like, you there! And then Gollum's like, okay, I'm not gonna redempt, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead with my plan. You know what? Phase next has started. Anyways, that happened, and he decided... Hey, you know what? Maybe she can help. And of course, Sam was actually already knew about this plan. He just did not know who she was. And apparently, that she was apparently a spider. And they are deadly terrifying. I'll tell you that. So what happens next? Well, a lot of things actually happen. Nick. What happens next is just that, you know what? Let's just go ahead and I'm gonna eat them up. Thank you for, thank you for your help, Gollum. Yes, your lady, Gollum. Gollum! That happens. And then finally, 
Finally, Sam goes ahead, is uncaptured, but he's lying in the darkness, and then Frodo Baggins is, well, he's lost the ring, but he's captured, and he's going to be sent to the Dark Lord. Ugh. He's with the enemy now. And that's about it, so hopefully you guys actually enjoyed this episode. I hope to see you guys soon, and so until next time, shout out. Peace. Thanks. See you guys soon. Shout out. Peace.